Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to identify the region of operation for my NMOS and BMOS transistor for the region C, D and E. In the previous clip we have seen that for region A, my NMOS is in cutoff whereas my PMOS is operating in the linear region. For region B, when my input is equal to VIL, we have seen that my NMOS operates in saturation whereas my PMOS operates in linear region. At the same time, we have also seen the corresponding output for region A, my output because input is less than the threshold voltage of NMOS transistor which meant that, that my NMOS transistor was off and if NMOS was off, my PMOS was on and my output was pulled to a logic high which was nothing but output high. Again in case B, when my input was low, my output was still considered as logic high but remember input low but it was a maximum voltage considered to be a logic zero. So the output is still high but it's not as high as VDD, it's approximately equal to output high. If you have not understood what I just said, just keep this in mind that my input is low so my output is going to be high approximately. Now we go to the case three or switching threshold. Now switching threshold is nothing but, remember, it's different from the threshold voltage. If I have a CMOS inverter and if this is my voltage transfer characteristics V out and V in, my output is going to remain high for a certain period of time and after that it's going to go low. This is an idle case and in an idle CMOS inverter, you want your output to transit or switch at a specific point and this point is nothing but switching threshold. Switching threshold is a point where your input is equal to your output in an ideal case. Just remember this much and if I have a range of supply from 0 to 1.8, technically switching threshold should be at the center, that is 0.9. So let's get started and identify the region of operation of my NMOS and PMOS transistor when the input is switching threshold. Let's first do it for NMOS, then we'll move it to PMOS. For an NMOS transistor, my VGS, which is nothing but equal to V in, which is nothing but equal to switching threshold because my input is nothing but switching threshold, not the threshold voltage. This switching threshold is nothing but approximately equal to 0.9. It will be greater than the threshold voltage, which is 0.7. So my transistor is on because my VGS is greater than my threshold. Now what we need to identify is whether my transistor is operating in the linear region or in the saturation region. For that let's write VDS dash VGS minus VT. VDS for NMOS is nothing but V out. VGS is V in minus VT. Now we have just seen that for switching threshold my input is equal to my output. So input and output both are same. If this both are same, here there is additional term getting subtracted from this. So this is definitely going to be a greater than sign. So this shows that my NMOS transistor is operating in saturation region when my input voltage is nothing but switching threshold. Let's identify the region of operation of our PMOS transistor at the same time. Let's first see whether the PMOS transistor is on or off. VGS for PMOS is nothing but V in minus VDD dash VTP for a PMOS. V in is nothing but switching threshold which is equal to somewhere around 0.9 minus 1.8 dash VDP which is nothing but minus 0.7 this is nothing but a less than sign so my, my PMOS transistor is also on what I need to identify is whether my PMOS transistor is in linear or in saturation region for that let's quickly write VDS dash VGS minus VDP VDS is nothing but V out minus VDD VGS is nothing but V in minus VDD minus VTP VDD get cancelled, V out and V in both are same. But remember VTP is a negative value, so this negative and this negative makes it plus. So this is nothing but plus VTP. So it's a clear case that this is just a value. This is this value plus some value, so it's going to be a less than sign, which very clearly from the table we can say that my PMOS transistor is also operating in saturation region. So in region C, where my input voltage is switching threshold, my NMOS is in saturation, my PMOS is in saturation, and my output is also going to be equal to switching threshold because input is equal to output. Very straightforward. 